welcome, welcome everyone to the world of dark and light. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Having a pretty darn good one. <clears throat> so I'm out here in the snow, in the cold, trying to keep my butt warm, trying not to get frostbite, and uh, I figured, you know what, today we're, I think we're going to come try to tame us up a Yeti. And I found this one over here. He's here, there he is, right there. And he's, uh, I believe he's level 84, and he's the highest one I've found. So far, most everything I've found has been like 12, 16, or 36. And I've seen this bad boy, and he had a bunch of stuff around him, which I've already got rid of. And uh, thank goodness for the lightning staff. <laughs> but uh, we also got something else I want to try to get to and show y'all today that I found that I got super lucky on. Y'all are not going to believe this one. I don't know if we'll get to it or not. But uh, it will be a future episode without a doubt when I know more information. But that's going to be a surprise. But uh, I think we're going to try to tame this bad boy up. And uh, I wasn't really intending to come out content to tame something. It just kind of was one of those, well, you know what, there's a Yeti. Let's tame it. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to find a decent spot to stand and put arrows in this guy because um, these dudes do quite a bit of damage. And I want to get a nice spot that I can see him. You can come back up here. But uh, at the same time, I want to get a spot he can't get to me. Which is really important. And uh, it says he can climb real good and get over the terrain and things. But I am actually finding that he's not real good to get over in the terrain. Like, matter of fact, I don't think he can get up on this rock. Which is fantastic. I think this is exactly what we want. So, alright. So, I'm going to hop up. Pull out my crossbow. Pop back on the wyvern real quick, because let's make sure he can't get up here. And, uh, this is scary, because this dude can beat the tar out of me. I've not encountered him directly yet. Uh, thankfully, I have not actually, well, I'll take that back. I have been hit by one, but not in a, uh, you know, dire situation. It was more of I'm running away and, uh, yeah, <laughs> one of them situations. Uh, so we're going to try this out, and hopefully this works, and my crystal broke. So let's get a full crystal on. Let's throw a crystal into him, slow his butt down, let's see if we can do this. Now I should have more than enough arrows, and I've only got 10 iron arrows, so I figured we'd start with those first, put as many of those as we can into him, and then switch to the bow, and that way, you know, we get the extra toper for him, and uh, just, you know, make it a lot easier. But I hope you're all having a fantastic day, like I said, having a pretty darn good one seeing some things, seeing some rarities, been doing some craziness, and uh, just having a good old time, y'all know how it is, and alright, let's do this, yeah, alright, now he's gonna run away, let's put a ice into him, boom, slow him down, oh, he's this, this got a pretty good, these creatures, they, uh, have gotten really good at... Oh, God, don't scare me like that. I thought he was coming up here for a second. Let's put another ice into him, shall we? Just to make sure, in case he does get up here, that I can get away. Because he is seemingly looking for a way to get up here really badly. He does not like me one bit. But that's okay. We're going to make him like me. He's going to love me when we're done. And he's going to be like, you're the greatest owner ever. You feed me all kinds of stuff. You let me beat up things. Yes, you're awesome. And I don't know how many arrows this is going to take. I don't even know what we got to tame this bad boy with. We're going to have to go back and I'm assuming get carnivore kibble, which I have at base, which is all right since we're on the wyvern. It don't take but just a minute to get there and back. So that's cool. But uh, I don't know. I don't. I honestly have no idea. I don't know if these dudes eat carnivore kibble or if they eat herbivore kibble. Like I am honestly at a complete loss on that. So we may end up bringing back both, and I'm definitely going to have to bring back resources to get a, uh, to build a uh, feeding trough. Because, uh, I've already built up here on the ice once today. And that's the other thing I want to get into here in a little bit. But, uh, like I said, that's going to be a maybe. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. That's something I cannot wait to get into. We're going to definitely do eventually. But, uh, like I said, it's a bit of a secret at the moment. I'd like to do a little more. Dude, slow down. Really? Can I not hit you with this? Oh, I think I hit the... Alright, next ice ball. Or cobweb, whatever the things are called. I want to call them an ice ball because we're in the snow. Alright, there we go. Slow down. Go sleep. Oh, I'm super excited to tame this guy, y'all. Like, these are one of the good ones. Ah. 
and I don't know anything about them. I've actually was told they're not very great, but I mean, come on, man. It's a giant Yeti. The thing's got to be awesome. I mean, slow down. Bam. Let's hit you again just to be safe. Nope, you're going to run away. Come back here. Eat that. Yeah. You're getting in behind that freaking iron deposit. It's annoying. Alright, so we've used up quite a bit of arrows, y'all. We had 10 iron arrows, and I think I had 77 stone arrows when we started. So, this dude is eating them up. Now, granted, he's lost a little bit of constitution each time he runs away. Well, I thought he was down for a second. I was excited. Each time he's ran away, but that's okay. It's not enough to be an important... Boy, that... Oh, my bow broke. Well, you know what that means. Means we switch to the, the crossbow. Gets a little bit slower, but it's okay. That's okay. Because I don't have the stuff up here on the hill at the moment to repair. Oh, we gotta get another cobweb into you getting a little squirrely on me. There you go, it's about time that thing shot. Alright. You need to go sleep, dude. Get another cobweb into you. Come on back. Come on. Boom, right in the face. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that would not have been good to have been pulled off the rock right there at the edge. Go to sleep. Right. You can't really honestly need that many arrows. That's crazy. Oh, he sped up on me again. What? Why well, won't the bow work? Shoot! Oh, I may have to go craft up some more arrows. I mean, that would really suck. <laughs> Alright. Well, he's running away. Let's check. Do I, am I out of... Oh my goodness, I'm going to run out of arrows before we tame this bad boy, I think. Yep, there it is. Last arrow. Uh, do I have anything to make more? Well, aren't you just a massive pain in the butt? Do you have any? That might be what we need. Uh, hook. Uh, I need... Magic arrows, I need twine. It's all I need is twine. Alright. So, I'm going to hit this guy with a cobweb. We're going to go get some twine. Really quick. Ugh. Fly, brood, fly. Now, this is going to be a bad place to go. Oh my god, it's going to be a horrible place to get twine. There needs to be more trees up on this hill. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all, there's just so much bad in everywhere. Bear. Are you serious? Is there nowhere I can land that's safe? Bear. Oh my god. More bears. Bear, you. Come with me. Are you going to go track the tree? No, you're going to come with me like I thought you would. Are we safe? I think we're safe. Quick. Down the hill. Let's get another tree while we can. Alright, let's rock. Alright. Uh, wrong buttons. Hook. Alright, we're going to fly back up here. I'm going to keep trying to knock this guy out, and we'll be back in just a minute. And we're back. Alright, so I went, and I repaired everything 
I have gotten tons of arrows. I made up some iron arrows. I made up stone arrows. I got a feeding trough. I even got some uh, uh, herbivore and carnivore feeding stuff. And I figured, you know what? I don't know what it's going to take to knock this guy out. So he's probably woken all the way back up. So we're going to get everything we need. And uh, as far as I can tell, we've got everything we should need to tame this bad boy, including a saddle. And I even repaired all my cobwebs. <laughs> Had to go and form a bunch of twine, too. So this guy's probably fully woke back up by now. And, uh, because, like, I apparently did not have no twine anywhere. And it was a lot. <laughs> I needed tons and tons of it. It's surprising how much you use twine for. So I figured we'd come back and we'd try to knock this bad boy out again. And hopefully this time it works. Oh, we missed. Oh, that I didn't even see that dude. Where did you come from? Oh, gosh. He must have respawned while I was away. That's not good. We'll have to kill that. Alright, run away. Shaw. Alright, you gonna come back? Or are you going on your final runaway this time? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> Alright, I think he is probably going to be doing his final runaway, so we need to kill this thing. Gun it. You're ruining my tame. Ugh. Probably should have just left it alone until we knocked him out, but I didn't want to. I wanted to get rid of it in case it got in the way. Alright, it's dead. <laughs> Alright, let's knock this bad boy out. He should be close now, because he looks like he was doing his I'm running away and I'm not coming back from him just a second ago. There. Slow down. Good job. Come on, put arrows into him. I don't want to get too close. I don't want him to hit me. Oh, out of arrows. Switch bows. Alright, is he going to come back this time? Yep, he's coming back. Slow him down. We're going to get this guy tamed up yet, y'all. This dude's look just like a mega pit. This is like it's had its head punched in. <laughs> For those of you who know Ark. <laughs> Which I'm sure most of you do. Because, I mean, it, basically this is Ark on Fantasy. You know, people say that the bow is faster, but I don't know if I totally believe that or not. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. No. No. Uh-oh. Thought he got up here there for a second. Don't go that way. There's danger down the hill. Huh? Oh, oh, no. Well, this just took a horrible turn. Maybe he'll pass out on the way down the hill. Or he'll he'll stop somewhere where there's not everything bad under the sun, and I want to sit here and kill everything under the sun just to keep taming him. And it looks like that's not going to happen. And, of course, he's getting attacked by bears. Are you serious? <sighs> sometimes, y'all. Sometimes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop. <laughs> oh. Come on. Climb. Oh, climb. This has turned out to be one of the hardest tames ever. Uh, 
be. Come here. Oh, he's gonna die. Maybe not. Come here. Thank you. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Uh, we need this. Hopefully we don't kill him while trying to knock him out the rest of the way. We're probably going to, because he is pretty hurt. Come on, dude. Go to, go to sleep. We've wasted so many resources on this guy already. It's weird that the bears attacked him. I find that strange. The bears are just evil. Like, <laughs> they're too, too aggro in this. Is he stuck? He better not be stuck. All I know is when he runs, he better pass out. Because if he goes down the hill, it is going to be a nightmare. The little ice dude we can deal with as long as we can keep it away from us. They do a lot of damage, but... Hey, dude. I have just put over 80 arrows into you. And there we go, y'all. Last arrow. Hopefully he passes out this time. I think he's stuck. You, you're stuck, aren't you? Will poo, y'all. I am not happy right now. That is the most aggravating thing in the entire world. <sighs> Come on. Get unstuck, dude. Jump at me. Come on. Come on, jump at me. You little... The ice imps are annoying. Of course, while I'm up there, you're all like, I'm going to get you. But now, as soon as I fly away, you don't get the slightest bit cares in the world. Well, I guess this was a fail, y'all. Because, really, dude. Go away. Come here. Come on. Now I'm going to aggro everybody down here, too. Alright, now. Are you going to leave me alone? Back to the Yeti. Come on, dude. Just jump at me. It's all you got to do is jump. You can get unstuck. I know you can. Come on. Come on. Really? Oh, I hate you so much, game. Well, are you kidding me? That ice imp, y'all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're so annoying. Like, they'll follow me uphill, but no, I'll come downhill, and they're like, no, we don't care. We just want to mess with your Yeti team. I can't believe that after all that, that guy got stuck. Like, I am absolutely just... <sighs> and there go the arrows. One by one. Well, poop. Kill it. I want revenge. I will have satisfaction. Ah! Give me all of your. Eat it. Eat all of it. That's so annoying. I hate you so much. It's the worst. 
Oh my! God. I wish they'd fix that. Like I've never in my life seen him. Like, why did the animals get stuck in everything under the sun? Like they they get stuck on a freaking blade of glass, and grass, and they're like, oh, I'm stuck on it. I can't move. Burp. I mean, uh, wasted all those arrows, all those mushrooms, all that magic essence. And, oh, 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 oh God, I hate this game sometimes, you all. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. This is what I wanted to show y'all. Hopefully it's still here. And it ain't DC or despawned or whatever. Check it out. Now y'all might be wondering, what in the world is going on here? Well, I splat along looking for something to get into, just exploring. And I found this thing right here. Whoa. Oh, we we are having a problem, y'all. Crouch. Crouch. What just happened there? Holy crap. Is I was safe? Woo I don't know what just happened. Anyways. Anyway, one of them days, one of them days. I was flying along and I see this thing laying here asleep. Asleep, y'all. Laying right here. What moving the hair? Sound asleep. I forgot my griffin was still following me. Or my wyvern was still following me. And, uh... I, I, I... Asleep! Can you believe that? Asleep. And, uh... I'm not entirely sure how you go about taming... Like, I don't think you could tame... Whoa, crouch. Whoa, we gotta be careful there. You know, there's something not right at all. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, as far as I know, you cannot tame these guys. We're getting away from this side of the hill. You come over here. And, uh, but, so you cannot tame them, but, supposedly, now, now this is word of mouth. The, oh my goodness, what is going on with this structure? <laughs> get away from it. Get back on the, get back on the river. Get back on the river. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, as I was saying, from what I'm told, you cannot tame the elite unicorn. It cannot be done. Now, that is not 100% fact. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on this. This is just what I have been told in multiple occasions. But, apparently, you can trap them like so and stay with them. For a long time i i don't even i don't even know like i don't know but apparently if you chill with them and hang out they will eventually turn into what's called a pegasus which is actually a winged horse but uh i don't think this is actually called a, a uh uh i might be wrong anyway but apparently they turn into a pegasus and uh then you can tame the pegasus now, I don't know if this is true. I honestly, I, I like I said, I cannot say for sure. But, I seen it laying here sound asleep. Knew there was no chance in the world that I would ever catch another one. That lucky break. So, I, I went through, collected up a bunch of resources as fast as possible. Down there and up here. There was a bunch more stone up here. Threw me down a foundation, threw me down a uh, workbench, and basically proceeded to craft as much stone stuff as I could afford to craft up here. Because I don't know if they're hostile, and I don't want nothing up here to break through. So I figured we'd use the, the stone, which as far as I know should be safe against everything but elites and the such. So, eventually, not today, but eventually I'm going to come back, and I'm going to basically just sit here forever... And see if it is true whether or not these things do in fact evolve into something you contain. Now I'm going to do some more research. I do not know. Like I said, he's basically been right there ever since he woke up. He walked into this corner and stopped. And as far as I know, he's completely trapped. And uh, the way I built this is a bunch of pillars. And uh, it's building on a slope in this is actually really crazy. And it's weird. A lot of these ceilings up here aren't actually attached to these pillars. Uh, which is really just crazy. But, uh, it works. He's trapped. I'm happy. I put down some, uh, simple foundations to try to block off some of the holes that I got built. And I'd love to put another one right there. 
But he's been sitting in the way, so I don't know if it'll let me build there or not. But, uh, yeah, eventually we're going to try to tame us up a Pegasus, y'all. Like, oh my goodness, I can't wait. I'm going to have to do some serious research and do some asking the questions. Because this is an opportunity, if what, if what I've been told is true, I'm not going to miss. We're going to have the ultimate flyer in the game, y'all, basically. Well, not the ultimate, but, you know, I think there's a... The griffin evolves into a paragriff or something like that. Like, oh my goodness. But, uh... I didn't even know this was a thing until today, which is why I was so excited when I seen it. Because I've never seen one, y'all. Like, I've never seen anything besides Elite Goblins, period. Like, well, no, I'll take that back. I have seen Elite, uh, Kodos. And, uh, they don't glow. They're just big as far as from what I've seen. But anyways, getting off the track, we're going to try to tame this bad boy when he and try to evolve him eventually. But like I said, I want to do the research so that I can share proper information with you all. And we can try to do it all on film and, like, do it, you know, and really get it done. And I want y'all to know, that stuff's expensive. Goodness gracious. Stone foundation, or stone building structures cost a fortune. But, uh, I know we didn't get a lot done. We kind of failed to add our tame with the, um, the Yeti, which I'm super bummed about. We're, we're going to try that again. We, we will get us a Yeti. That will be a thing. We also got to get us another Griffin. But, uh. I think we're going to wrap it up there because we've kind of come up on that time. And we don't really got enough time to really get anything else super exciting. And I can only hand uh, one fail and one massive glitch spot. I don't know what's going on here. But uh, if you enjoyed this episode at all, smack that thumbs up button. I appreciate it if you do. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you got any questions, suggestions, or tips. If you know anything about turning this bad boy into the uh, Pegasus, then you know for fact, not hearsay, but I'd like, I mean, for real, like... Because there's a lot of hearsay. Because I've been told you can tame the Elite Griffins. And then I was told the devs categorically are not Elite Griffin. Elite um, the Unicorns. And then the dev apparently categorically denied that you can tame the Elites. Like, flat out. So, yeah. But, uh... Ugh. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this if you would so others can find it easier. It helps them out. helps me out. And it's an amazing thing to do. Remember, y'all. Stay safe. Have fun. And game on.